We all know the Swedes as a calm, cool and relaxed kind of people, but there's definitely a few things that get them riled up and a little bit hot underneath the collar, and today we're going to be talking about it. So if you're Swedish, I suggest you get a cup of coffee for this one. Yes, what's up you guys? It's me, Greg. Welcome back to another video. And today we are talking about the things that the Swedes just can't stand. And while some of the things I'm about to talk about are fairly obvious, and I think we can all kind of relate to the feeling, there's others that are definitely ingrained within the fiber of the Swedish culture. So let's dig into five of the things that the Swedes just don't like. Number one, when international folk confuse Sweden for Switzerland. Um, excuse me, do you mind if I just ask you what language that was you're speaking? Oh, Swedish. Oh, you must be so proud. Switzerland is a beautiful country. I'd love to go back. Yeah, I can kind of understand why they don't like this one. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it could not be clearer that Switzerland and Sweden are not the same country. They're not even in the same area of Europe. I mean, is it really that hard? Sweden is in the EU, it's one of the largest geographical countries in Europe, and it's part of Scandinavia all things that Switzerland is not. I mean, it's like going to Germany and telling them that you really enjoyed a trip to their capital city, Brussels. Talking of easy confusions leads me on to the second thing that Swedes just can't stand, and that's the stereotypes. Come on, you know, Sweden is that country where everyone is blonde haired and blue eyed, there's polar bears roaming the streets wildly, and everywhere is dark 100% of the year. Yeah, don't be confused, just because it's light in my videos doesn't mean anything, I just use studio lighting. Stepping outside is like forgetting to take off my face mask when I got off the plane, and I have to admit I see people make these mistakes all of the time. There are people that genuinely think that there's polar bears walking around the streets just like the rest of us. Not to mention the amount of times that international people have said to me, oh well I thought there'd be more blonde haired people here. Where did they put them all? Not to mention if you think that it's dark all of the time, maybe head to the north of Sweden in the summer. You might get a bit of a surprise. The third thing that Swedes just can't handle is something that I notice all of the time. I go out for a fika with a friend or a colleague and I'm the first one in the queue, so I offer just to take it all on my tab. I mean it's not like it costs that much. I probably spent like 70 crowns for their coffee and a piece of fika. Now where I'm from, as soon as you're not a student any longer, you just say, don't worry, I'll get this one, you can get the next one. I mean, we've all heard of the British concept of rounds, right? Where you go to the pub and I order one beer and you get the next one. It can actually get quite messy when there's 10 or more of you, because think about it, 10 different beers, one night, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to walk by the end of this, but I digress, that's a separate story. Yes, in Sweden, if I buy you a coffee, you're probably gonna offer to pay me straight back. And again, we're quite polite in the UK, so I don't see that as being a problem. I'm like, oh, well, that was sweet. They offered to give me the money back, but I don't mind, it's no problem, you're good. Oh, but the Swedes will not stop there. They are not comfortable with letting you pay. It doesn't matter whether it's a beer, a coffee, a cake, they really want to give you the money back and they cannot let it drop until they do. And in the world of Swish that we live in here in Sweden, it's so easy for them to pay you back that they'll probably just wish it straight back to you before you even notice. And from one point on money to another, my fourth thing that the Swedes just can't stand is when you talk about how high their taxes are. Yes, we've all heard the stereotypes. Here in Sweden, they pay some of the most extortionate taxes in the world. They basically just give away their entire salary to the state at the end of each month. And if you read the American press, they will tell you that the Swedes are delighted just to hand over their paychecks. And I'm not saying that's wrong. The general consensus here is that you get a lot for your money when it comes to your taxes, but it's also not as high as you've heard. So when you point out how willing they are just to hand over their salary at the end of the month, expect some backlash. It's almost like if they could, they'd whip out the Swedish constitution and tell you all of the benefits that they're getting for that cash. And once you've enjoyed free education at all different levels, you've had five weeks or more of paid vacation every single year, and you get all of your childcare free, come back to me, because then I think you understand. And while we're talking about understanding things, it brings me onto the fifth thing that Swedes just absolutely hate, and that's when you make mistakes. Now I tell you what, this is not something that I'd noticed until I started making videos like this one. Check back any of my videos, scroll through the comments, and you will be absolutely overwhelmed by how many people correct me when I make factual errors or I make small slip ups and mistakes. And don't just take my word for it. Jump on any of the Facebook groups for learning Swedish, write something in Swedish, and you just wait a couple of minutes before the first Swede will come back and pick out all of the grammar errors that you made. And don't get me wrong, I realize that it's well-intentioned, but it is a little bit overwhelming when you first start, especially on the language side, because let me tell you what, it takes a lot of confidence to come out of your shell, start practicing the language, and when people pick out everything that you get wrong, it it kind of makes you want to stop again. And before someone finds a hole in that last sentence that I said, let me just stop you in your tracks. I realize this is not a fair representation for the entire population because as I say, it's not something that I really experienced until I started creating content online. And I understand if you put yourself out there, you have to be willing to get those comments too. So I do appreciate that the general Swede is just happy that you try. So there you have it then, five things that just drive the Swedes absolutely nuts. I would love to hear if you recognize any of the things I've talked about today. Have I missed anything? Let me know in the comments down below 
if you're Swedish, are these things that drive you crazy? Or is there something totally different? You have got to let me know. And then once you're done doing that, make sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so yet. It would be awesome if you could and turn on that notification bell so you're the first one to know as soon as I put out a new video, just like this one, talking again very, very soon. And until then, thanks for checking this one out. Drop me a like and I'll see you soon. Thanks guys.